So I spoke about community action in health. So going beyond uh, community health workers, what kind of communitization processes you need where community health workers can be embedded to get the support to be effective community mobilizers and community health activists or community health workers. I took the example of the Government of India program, which is called Community Action for Health, which has a secretariat in Population Foundation of India. And the government appointed an uh, advisory group on community action, which is 17 leading public health grassroots activists who also have a uh, understanding of health policies and programs in India. They're on the advisory group and we advise the government on taking forward the community action for health. So we play an advisory role where we strengthen community action at the state level by training government officials. Uh, government has appointed special nodal officers in each state for community action for health. And there are also community steering groups community action steering group so we train them then the whole community action process takes place through the village health and sanitation committees every village has a village health and sanitation committee which meets once a week then there's the rogi kalyan committee which is the patient welfare committees and then there is the monitoring and management groups at the district level and then we facilitate conversations between government health functionaries at the community level and the community members where they have a dialogue on how they can improve community health services and the community plays a supportive role. It's not a confrontational uh, situation. The government invests money in this 0.14% 14 is the budget the government spends on community health uh, community action for health compared to this is off the total budget of health there's a separate budget for ashas and a separate budget for village health uh, sanitation committees and we did a pilot in nine states um, a thousand villages which was then evaluated and the evaluation was after the evaluation we did some corrections and redesigned our models and we've scaled it up in 22 states in India. So there's a separate project implementation plan that the government funds compared to this project implementation program for the health. There is a separate project implementation plan for community action in health. So it has got embedded in government. It is led by civil society, but we're trying to bring in women's groups, women's health groups, um, local governments to participate in holding. It's while you're holding the government accountable and health system accountable, you're giving people the rights, putting them at the center and entitlements. Um, so that's what the India program is. I was very happy to see Mickey Chopra say, make a statement based on his work and research that no country has been able to achieve universal health coverage without having community processes in place. Uh, second, uh, it was wonderful to see the South African government say a finance uh, ministry representative to the conference to see the cost uh, of uh, investing in um, community health but most what I loved is the fact that some of the participants made uh, the statement that you need to not just look at the cost of investing in community health workers you have to look at the benefits and I do believe that the cost of inaction in not investing in community health should also be seen the cost is very high and finally I think um, this is it. people confirm the best way to bring public into public health which is our slogan for our program the government program in India and I feel very privileged to lead the government program in India along with other civil society activists and it's a great model for other uh, countries to emulate.